Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, this is Making It Happen with Mary and I am Mary. Today's video, y'all, oh my god. I didn't do an empties video for last month because it wasn't in not April, but March. I did not do an empties video because tax season was insane. I just didn't get around to it. So I decided I was going to put together my March and April empties all in one video. It's massive, y'all. It's massive. It's massive. Uh, so we got a lot to get through here. You might want to get yourself a snack or a drinky drink so we can get through this. And uh, you will, uh, I advise getting a, a drinky drink. Now, you're going to need one for some of this. You're going to need one. And before we get started and before I get comments, today's lip color is, of course, by me. It is one of mine. It's called Blushing. And it has, I don't know if you can see in there, it is a really pretty pink color. It has these gold and red shimmer flakes in it. It's super pretty. And I believe, and it smells like raspberries. So yeah, I love this one a lot. I've been wearing her a lot the last few days, but it's such a pretty color. It's not too bright. But for those of you girls that like really bright colors, oh, ho, 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 I have something coming for you for summer, baby. Yes, the summer release will be happening, I want to say May 29th, maybe the first few days of June. So stay tuned. I have some really cool stuff coming. You're not going to want to miss that. But let's jump into this. So did you get your drinky drink? Did you pause? Get your drinky drink? Do what you got to do, girl. Because we're going to get started. The first thing I got through, I have a scent bird subscription and I used to get it every month but I paused it because I was not getting through them fast enough and instead I get it every three months and this is one of those it is Burberry Brit which ironically I have this in a full size it's pretty would I buy it again yes because I have it in the full size so I, I'm not really sure why they sent me one that I didn't have on the list. It was very odd, yes. But would I get this one? Of course I would. I did get through a wax melt in Lotus and Pearl from Better Homes and Garden. I love the Better Homes and Garden wax melts. Some of them are better than others, but this one, the Lotus and Pearl, highly recommend. It makes your house smell like a really expensive spa, and I love it. I love it. I also did get through a Juliana's Perfume Mini. This one was Dark Opulence. It had notes of almond, cinnamon, bergamot, rose, jasmine, incense, benzoin, tonka bean, vanilla, musk, patchouli, sandalwood, veveter, and oak moss. I do like this one, but I think it's better suited for colder weather months, so I'm glad I got through it when I did. I can't remember what this one is supposed to be inspired by, but I do really like this scent. I got through a single wick. Somebody gifted me this candle. I don't even know who it's by. I think it's like one of these kind that you can get like at the Dollar Tree or Dollar General or something like that. It was called Lemon Fresh. If you recognize that label and you ever see it somewhere, do not buy it. I would never purchase this on my own. I'm really hoping the person watching this is not hearing it. But there was nothing fresh about this. There was no lemon. There was nothing. It was literally unscented. It was very cute sitting on my kitchen table at nighttime. But, yeah, there was no scent. No bueno. I, oh, one of my favorites. Palo Santo in the three wick. I love this candle. However, it smoked a lot. Look at, oh my God. Yeah, it smoked a lot, but the throw on this was insane. Scent notes are Palo Santo wood, warm amber, and soft musk. I love it. One of my favorite scents ever and a massive thrower. I would repurchase this a million times. I did get through some makeup wipes, the Dollar General brand. What do they call it? The Studio Selection. It's comparable to Neutrogena. I go through these like every month. I'm surprised if I don't have two of them in here for two months. But um, yeah, so I would absolutely recommend these because I think you can get a two pack of, what is it? It's 25 wipes in one container. So you can get a two pack of them for like $5, the same cost of the Neutrogena ones. No brainer. I am the poor woman's influencer after all. 
Let's not forget that. Going along with the wipes. Yo, I really wish Goose Creek would bring these back. They're the cleansing body wipes. I got them. This one was hibiscus fruit punch. Now, I will say something. They're not super heavy on the scent. However, they are super awesome to have, like, on your back patio when it's really hot outside. I keep one, a pack, in my refrigerator out in the garage. It's right off of our patio. So I can just grab one when I'm feeling really kind of icky, sticky in the summertime. These are great. Or throw them in your gym bag. I wish they would bring these back because they were $2 a pack, yo. And I think there is 48 wipes in one pack. Yeah. They need to bring these back. I did get through into the night in the shampoo. Oh, there was a little bit dripping. There was some stuck in the cap. Scent notes are like into the night. It is raspberry noir, amber crystals, and velvety rose petals, creamy patchoula, patchoula patchouli, and mocha musk. I am growing very, very fond of their shampoo and conditioner. I think it works really, really well on my hair. It doesn't leave it greasy. And my hair smells amazing. Highly recommend. Would absolutely purchase this again, but probably not until the winter time. I got through a hand soap in Cabana Escape. Yeah, this one was a couple years ago. When was this from? Uh, I can't read it. My eyes are getting old. Oh, no, it was 2022. Scent notes are aloe water, warm summer breeze, and juicy mango. It was good. It was really good. It was a really nice, summery, fresh type of a scent, and I really liked it. I would probably repurchase this one again. Let's see. I got a new, through another single wick in Caribbean Escape. These type of labels are the ones you would find at SAS, where they have like the 75% off single wicks. I always find these at SAS, but that's the only time of year you find them, is in the summer SAS or the winter SAS. This one was good, though. Um, it's one of those older ones that does not have scent notes on the bottom. It was made in 2020, 2021, but it was really good for the bathroom. It kind of smelled like pina colada-ish type of, type of a scent. It was really good. Would definitely repurchase that one. This is like one of my favorite all-time scents from Bath and Body Works. And I feel like re-releases of this scent and body care have not been the same. Not nothing like the original and it's saltwater breeze. Yep, saltwater breeze. Scent notes are fresh linen, violet leaves, and white water blossom. I swear, this has to be like one of my top three summer scents of like all time. I love saltwater breeze. The candle did not disappoint. This was from Candle Day, this past Candle Day in December. I picked up quite a few of these, and I, I could not wait. I couldn't control myself. The weather was starting to get a tiny bit warmer, and my inner summer hoe was coming out, and she wanted saltwater breeze. So that's what I gave her, and she performed very, very well. Would definitely repurchase. Oh, my goodness. All right. We also owe you guys. I built my, built, I burned my pink petal tea cake candle from Candle Day. There was a lot of sooting going on there. Look at that. Look at that. That's no bueno. But the scent notes were pink rose petals, pound cake, and vanilla glaze. Vanilla, vanilla glaze? Bitch, get it together. <laughs> it was a good scent. I didn't think the throw was very heavy. It could have been better. Um, I think the original pink petal tea cake candle performed way better. And that was years and years ago. That was like 2018, I think. May I think it was 18. Yeah, so that we had the original one and it was amazing. This one, not so much. But then again, candles have not been the greatest from Bath & Body Works. They've been hit and miss really for like the last five years. Like really since like right when COVID happened is when the candles, the, the quality in them really started to go downhill. We still, I still come across some good ones and I will talk about them. So make sure you pay attention because I will let you know if stuff is worth uh, stockpiling up or getting again. But this one was just not that hot. It just wasn't. It just wasn't. And I also did get through a Juliana's Perfume Mini in Fiery Goddess. This one is Mango, Lemon, Ginger, Red Berries, Woody Notes, Coramin, Coumarin, Coumarin, Jasmine, Musk, Amber, 
Cypriot oil, Nagarmatha, and agarwood. What the hell is Nagarmatha? I feel like that's something that's getting ready to come out and fight Godzilla. Nagarmatha has come. That's what it made me think of. This was good. However, it was not one that I would want to purchase in even a travel size bottle like this. I was not in love with it enough. I appreciated the sample and getting to know her. It was just not one that I really reached for. So no, I would not repurchase that. This next bag. Oh my God, yo, it's a, it's a big one. It's a big one. I did get through ice lemon pound cake in the hand soap. Scent notes on this baby. Oh, scent notes were glazed icing, pure lemon zest, and fluffy cake. The hand soap in this smells divine. Would highly recommend and would absolutely repurchase. Hell yeah. I got through another one in Blue Aguave Oasis. Scent notes were refreshing cucumber, succulent aguave, and dreamy jasmine. I will say in the soap, smelling it, it smelled amazing. On my hands, not so much. Um, I don't think I would repurchase Blue Aguave Oasis. But in just smelling it cold, like I was just smelling it, it does smell really good. But I remember specifically using this and being less than impressed. Yeah. That's a big no from me. I did get through Banana Bunt Cake. This is an older one. This was from 2022. Scent notes are sweet banana, toasted walnut, and fresh cinnamon. This was freaking amazing. I think this same type of label, they brought out wild berry jam donut in the candle. And there was a couple of other ones in this type of a label. But this was banging. Yes, I would absolutely repurchase this. She threw really well. There wasn't a lot of sooting issues. Except the one when I lit it and it kind of got a little messed up when I tilted the jaw. But, uh, and it burned really evenly. So, yeah, big ups on that one. I did get through Paradise Coconut in the single wick. I burned the single wicks primarily in my bathroom. Uh, let's see, are there scent notes on this one? Yes, there is. Juicy pineapple, sugar cane, and coconut milk. This smells like a true pina colada. It smells amazing. I would absolutely, and it made my bathroom smell exquisite. I love this one. Highly recommend. This next one, I had saved it for a while, and I finally burnt it, and I, God, I wish I would have gotten backups of this candle. It was sweet rosemary vanilla. Don't let the name fool you. Don't let it fool you. The scent notes were fresh rosemary, sweet vanilla cake, and whipped frosting. This burnt beautifully. It was like this, it was like a vanilla cake, but better. Like, I don't know, I didn't smell rosemary, like the seasoning rosemary. I didn't smell that. I just got this amazing cake with like a tiny spice twist. It was like way in the background, but she threw like a beast. Where year was this from? 2020. Go figure. This was amazing. Amazing. Would completely repurchase. I did get through my cookies and cream. Cookies and cream milkshake in the three wick. This one was from 2020 as well. Uh, scent notes were chocolate cookie crumbles, vanilla bean ice cream, and chocolate drizzle. She threw okay, but she smelled amazing. Like in a, in a smaller space, like a smaller kitchen, I think this would do really, really well. Um, but in like my larger living room, not so much. It didn't throw the way I wanted it, but it was really cute packaging. Look at that. The packaging was cute. Yeah. Let's see. I also got through spiced vanilla. Cinnamon spiced vanilla. Sorry, y'all. She threw like a beast. Scent notes were fresh ground cinnamon, sugar crystals, and Tahitian vanilla bean. My living room smelled amazing with this. Oh, what else we got in here? I got through a honeysuckle pineapple in the wax melt. 
This one was from Sensational, also at Walmart. This brand, though, the Sensational, it is a very hit or miss brand. Some of them I've gotten have been really good and others not so much. This was one of those not so much. It smelled great on cold, but there was like no throw. Would not repurchase this one. No. I did get through a body scrub and In the Stars. Scent notes on In the Stars is Starflower Sandalwood Musk, Sugared Tangela, White Agarwood, and Radiant Amber. I love In the Stars. She, to me, she is a great body spray dupe of Baccarat Rouge. Absolutely. Highly recommend. I would absolutely repurchase this. A hundred percent. I got through a room spray in Vanilla Bean. I use the room sprays predominantly in my basement, like my laundry room or my basement area. Smells divine. Yeah, she good good, yo. She good good. Highly recommend. I would absolutely repurchase Vanilla Bean. You can't go wrong. I got through the hand soap and Luminous. This was banging. She would bang it. I love Luminous, though. Scent notes are Ruby Current, Gilded Iris, and Praline Amber. Oh, it's been a little while since I've smelled Luminous, and my God, I love her. Yeah, I might pull her out when it gets, if it gets like a chilly night here sometime soon. Otherwise, she's going to be hanging out until the cold weather comes again. But I love it. She smells amazing. Let's see, a single wick in pink Prosecco frosting. Scent notes are not on the bottom, but uh, this one was from 2021. And from what I remember of this, yeah, no, no bueno. And even in my bathroom burning, it's it was awful. I, I you got there was like very little throw, and what throw you did get kind of smelled like plasticky burnt frosting. It was, it was gross. I would definitely not repurchase this one. <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. There it is. The other container of the, of the makeup wipes. So yes, one each month. This was probably uh, March because it was farther down in the bag. So this had to be March. So yeah, see, your girl does use these. I use them all the time, almost every day. But don't mistake a makeup wipe for cleaning your face properly. Because those makeup wipes, I do, I've do. i done tests with them, and I'll scrub the hell out of my face with them. And then I will take some of like the actual cleaner and put it on a cotton pad. I still find that all over my face. Oh, yes. So, you know, a makeup wipe is great. But when you come home late and you don't, you don't want to do like the proper nighttime routine and you just want to go to bed because you're a little tipsy. But uh, don't do that every day, girl. Don't do that every day. Next one is Lemon Raspberry Donuts from Home and Garden in the Wax Melts. This one was good. <sighs> yes! I need to pick up some more wax melts. In fact, I'm going to be starting recording for a vlog probably tomorrow I'm going to start. Um, you guys, well, actually, you guys are going to see this on Thursday. So I'm probably going to start recording for the vlog on Thursday. And uh, maybe y'all come with me and pick out some tarts. What do you think? Yeah, let's do that. And then I also got through, well, what I meant to say with all of that, my God, see how I get off on a tangent sometimes? What I meant to say with all of that is y'all vlogs are coming back. I know y'all love these vlogs. Some of y'all have been begging me for them for months. So they are coming back, I promise. And I got some good stuff going on this weekend. So yeah, you'll be excited. Uh, whip vanilla chiffon in the mini. I still do have these in the big ones, but I had this one hanging out, I think, in the living room, and I freaking love this scent. There, oh, the keynotes, they actually had it on the mini on this one. I'm shocked. This was 2000. Wild vanilla bean, sponge sugar, and white peach blossoms. Am I crazy? Because I don't recall seeing those on. I think a lot of y'all slept on this scent. Like, honest to God, she is bae. I love this scent. I have a full bottle of, well, almost full, of the body lotion. Not the body cream, the body lotion and the spray still. Well, about 80% full, both of them. And I'm so glad I have it. And the lotions last, like, forever. I swear to God, I have some lotions that are, like, 12 years old. And they still are just fine. They're not, like, super watery and gross. But, again, it goes down to how you store your products. And we're going to be talking about that in an upcoming video. So stay tuned for that, too. 
Your girl is full of ideas. Now that tax season is over, I'm like, ooh, now I can get back to my, my passion and my, my creativity flow with these videos. Because I got a lot of ideas for videos, and you guys are, you guys are going to love them. You're going to love them. Next one I got through is Candy Cane Colada. Who remembers this from Candy, or Candy, Candle Day? Candle Day. Who remembers this one? This one was good, yo. I was shocked. I was, I was like, damn, I should have gotten another one of those. She burned beautifully. No soda. Well, no, that's not. It's like discoloration of the glass. Scent notes were Melakaliki Maka. Santa is out of office taking a much-needed vacation from the North Pole. It was primarily pina colada. However, there was this very slight minty scent, like way in the background. But it was freaking good. It mixed really well. They did this candle good, y'all. They really did. I would completely repurchase this one. We're almost through, you guys. I know this video is getting a little long, but we're almost there. I also did get through Top Shelf Elf. This is another one they really did good. Scent notes were billions of toys is just one year in just one year. Yes, sometimes even elves need a little boost of energy. This is the one they were talking about smelled like Red Bull. I don't think it smelled exactly like Red Bull. However, I think it burned beautifully. My living room smelled great. It kind of had like a, a citrusy, berry type of a burst scent. I guess it could be comparable to Red Bull, but I didn't think it really was like Red Bull. I didn't think so. But this was actually a really good candle, y'all. I'm sad I didn't get another one, huh, either. Let's see. I got through a wax melt, an iced caramel macchiato. This was actually good. It was from the mainstays at Walmart. It was good. However, I had to burn three of the six wax melts in here to get a good throw. Because they make them like really tiny. See how thin that is? It's really, it's really tiny in comparison to the other ones. But what do you expect for $1.29, honey? What do you expect? But it was decent. But you might have just been better off paying $4 for the bigger one and only burn one cube at a time. Who knows? I did get through a body scrub and strawberry snowflakes. This was good. Uh, scent notes were juicy strawberry, whipped cream, and iced bergamot. Yeah, she was good. I loved the scent. I don't like the consistency of this scrub. That celestial, what is it, exfoliating glow. It's like a really shimmery like type of thing. And the, the little teeny little beads, whatever the hell they are inside of it, I don't think they did much to exfoliate because I didn't really feel nothing on my skin. I didn't feel nothing rubbing or moving across my skin, so I don't, I'm not sure it really did much of anything, to be honest. But the smell was good. She smelled good. We got through the hand soap and cotton candy grape from spring, early spring. Scent notes were juicy grapes, fluffy cotton candy, and sugared citrus. She was good, good. Oh, yes. If they would make this into a body care, I would buy it. It was good, good. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. If I see those at SAS, I'm snatching one or two. Jeez, oh man, let me empty this bag. And then we can, uh, we can holla some more. Good God, I got through a lot. I got through an old lip gloss before I started my business. Or while I was in the creation of making my business. But I wanted to just use it up and get it out of here. It was Thor Ragnarok or something like that. Thor Thunder, I don't know what the hell it says on there. It was okay, but I mean, I remember when I bought this. How many milligrams is this? Okay, this is only four milliliters. Four milliliters. Mine, because they use these fat tubes. Mine, I know it does not look like much of a difference. Mine are more than double of what's in here. Yeah, yeah. Mine are more than double of what's in here. Yeah, that's crazy to me. I think they use that kind of glass, like the actual what's inside is much smaller than what they make the tube look like. And um, it was just like your regular old wand. It was it, a wand. It was nothing really special. Like, I will say the wand on the ones I have now is kind of like that same wand. However, I did upgrade my packaging for the summer collection. And you're going to be impressed. You are going to be impressed. So, um, but again, I want to say I paid 
it was like 15 or 16 dollars for this and mine are 7.99 i'm just saying i'm just saying and you get double the amount of product i'm just saying i'm just saying and mine smell good this don't smell like nothing this one smells like banana cream pie and she smelled good. Oh, she smells good. I love this one. This one's Goddess, by the way. Her name's Goddess. But yeah, I just wanted to point that out because I was like, yeah. I did get through a single wick and smoked vanilla. Yep, smoked vanilla. Uh, this one does not have the scent notes, but I loved this, especially in a three wick. This is bay. I put her in the bathroom and she was banging, 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 banging. It's almost like a woodsy. It's kind of like by the fireplace meets wrapped in vanilla. And I loved it. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Would 100% repurchase. Sweet Apple from Mainstays in the tart. The little cheapy $1.29 tarts. They used to be 99 cents. Now they're $1.29. This one was okay. But again, same thing. I had to burn like three of them to get any type of scent projection in my kitchen. Yeah. I did get through... Four perfumes. Three of them are minis and one's kind of medium. I got to a Juliana Spirit of Mojave. This is one of the ones that was in my top pick five. And for that video that I did, which it was only up, what was it, two weeks ago on a Saturday? Go look if you have not seen it. This is Sapodillo Ambret Magnolia Violet Sandalwood Ambergris and Cedar. I love this one and I do have it in one of the big ones. Hell yeah. I don't have it in a big, big one, but I might when I run out of that. I also got through Sicilian Sweetheart. This was another one of my top five. Absolutely recommend this. Blood Orange Bergamot Lavender Flowers. Rose, Jasmine, Cinnamon, Vanilla, Musks, and Caramel. I have a big one of that one, and I am getting a big, big one of that. Let's see. The other one was Double Decadence. This one was Incense, Pink Pepper, Bergamot, Cedar, Lang Lang, Bulgarian Rose, Jasmine, Vanilla, and Benzoin. I remember thinking she was pretty, but I was really in the mood for summer stuff. Oh, I did get a tiny bit out. Yeah, she was pretty, just very like fall wintery. And I just was like, nah, I don't want to, I don't want that in my spring, summer top pick five. Hell no. It, it's definitely a winter fall scent. But she's pretty, and come winter fall. I might have to pick this up because she was good. She was good, good. And the very last item, I did get through a Skylar Pink Canyon in the mini. This was actually pretty, yo. I remember when I first got it, I was like, ooh, I don't think I like that. But it grew on me. I got like one teeny tiny little drop. I do like it, but I think it was because it was different. It was almost kind of like spicy dry air in the canyons of like out west like in the mexico not in the mexico in the deserts out in like arizona and stuff that's what this reminded me of kind of like spirit of mojave but spirit of mojave is better i think but so this one was decent but would i repurchase it no i would not but anyway y'all that is everything for this massive empties video y'all it's almost a freaking half hour long so if you've made it this long, thank you so much for bearing through with me. I know some of y'all like my longer videos, but some of y'all have told me too, you like like the eight to 10 minuters. That's a really good question for y'all. If you've made it this far, I wanna hear your opinion in the comments below. Do you like shorter videos or longer videos? I'm very curious, definitely always wanting to give you guys what you guys want. Um, so let your girl know for sure. And uh, other than that, y'all, tell me what you think. What, how did I do with my empties? I got through a lot, like a lot in two months. So I'm pretty proud of myself. Yes. Uh, and as always, make sure you're heading over and checking out Banger Beauty by Mary. We have, you know, we're on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Go check it out. I will be releasing sneak peeks of the summer launch over there as well. I'll probably bring it to you guys as well because, you know, I love you. And uh, as always, y'all, like, comment, subscribe, and ding the bell so you're alerted every single time your girl uploads. And I will see you in the next one. All right, you guys. Bye-bye.